Hi, this is Carl Catholic. Uh, we're talking to you about this, my take on the movie Sound of Freedom, which I saw this past Saturday. Really good. I, I invite everyone to go see it. And uh, it was quite intense. I cried uh, about the true story of uh, ex-FBI agent Tim Ballard and what he had to go through. So um, there are some clips. And then there's another... Uh, film or were reviewing. South of that river is all rebel territory. No one goes in. What if this was your daughter? So she's gone. Hear that? Sound of Freedom is one of those films that can legitimately change this world. So we want to ignite a fire in audiences and open their eyes to the dark reality of millions of children that need our help. Let's make this film a historic event and the start, the end of child trafficking. Theaters across this country are already selling out. Pre-order your tickets today and you can send the message that God's children are no longer for sale. So this next movie is called Cuties. It's from a film that was made in, I think in the early 2010, 12, called Mignon uh, with kids uh, growing up and doing shows and stuff like that. But Cuties took it to another level. Um, they hypersize it, and so it was on net Netflix. So you'll hear some commentary uh, from a famous YouTuber, and he'll int introduce someone how he got his take on on the film to what it did to them. That the point of the movie is supposed to make you uncomfortable with the subject matter of kids being sexualized. It's supposed to speak out against how it's a terrible thing. But it's so poorly conveyed that they've just ended up making a movie that hypersexualizes kids. And the camera operator, I don't know who's working the camera for this movie, it must be Dan Schneider. Because the camera operator's like going up each girl's <laughs> like right up for a colonoscopy. When they spread their legs, he like speed runs over there to get the camera as close as possible. And again, these are actual children actresses. These aren't adults playing kids. These are actual 11, 12 year olds. They're children. Let me show you a review from a YouTuber who watched this movie and let me show you what their takeaway was. They're pretty hot. And you know, you can say whatever you want about me. It's not my fault. I didn't make them do that. They did that. Uh, that's the point. That's the whole point of the movie is that you're supposed to be sitting there thinking, look at the blonde one. You're supposed to be sitting there holding these two thoughts in your head and one that these are kids and the other that they're hot. That's the message that people are walking away from the movie with. Pedophiles with the biggest smile on their face, pumping their fists in the air. Thanks, Netflix. Just for easily accessible softcore child. So I invite you all, as you see, to go see The Sound of Freedom. If you're a Protestant, uh, Christian or Catholic, it don't matter. We got to stick together uh, to show the world because the world it really needs uh, Jesus. Uh, they need the Lord. That's why people are like this because we have to pray for their conversion. To, and if we all go to the cinema to show that we know about it, people will start to see their sin because they're stuck in, in this sin and all this bad stuff. So we need to pray for those persons. Go to the movies and bring your fr friends. If not, just refer to me. I, I'm going to try. I'm talking to people to invite them to pay for the ticket. So do what you can and God bless you. I'm you blow. Give me strength.